Sol investors should be cautious with this pattern bullish breakout. Sol witnessed a bullish breakout from the falling wedge. It could fall as low as $4.45 since Sol's development activity has steadily declined throughout the year Solana, Sol, seems set to rise stronger from the FTX contagion. At press time, Sol was trading at $14.09, up from $11 on 22nd of November. Unfortunately, in the long run, Sol may not be done with all adversity yet the patterned breakout from the falling wedge could have propelled it to $17.59. However, the token currently lacks enough buying pressure to strengthen the uptrend. Moreover, a steady decline in development activity could thwart significant buying pressure therefore, Sol could fall back deep toward the $5.68 and $4.45 support levels after the fake breakout to the upside Sol broke new supports Sol rallied rapidly between June and August, forming a multi-month rising wedge, portrayed by the blue lines, rising wedge patterns are bearish, as they are likely to be followed by a downtrend. Sol's downtrend after the rising wedge led the price into a parallel channel, white. Between August and November, Sol traded within the $28.38 range. However, the impact of the FTX implosion and significant exposure led to a further decline, breaking through some support levels. The $11.02 has been a solid floor for the bulls recently. The price action of Sol since 10 November has drawn a falling wedge pattern that is generally bullish. But Sol could move downward, as the current market structure is bearish. The on balance volume, OBV, has not yet risen to the level of the parallel channel, white. Thus, there is not enough buying pressure to push the bulls forward. Similarly, the relative strength index, RSI, has retreated from the oversold area but had a downtick toward the same area. This shows that sellers still have an impact despite the easing pressure, therefore, the current support could be breached and a deep drop to $4.45 could be possible in the coming weeks or months. However, a close above the 23.6% FIB level could invalidate this bias, in which case Sol could target the 38.2% FIB level, $21.66. According to Santiman's data, Sol's development has been in free fall throughout the year. The decline corresponded with the token's falling prices. Solana's total volume locked. TVL, across DeFi platforms has declined over the past year. According to DeFiLama, Sol's TVL has fallen from over $5 million in January 2022 to about $280 million at press time. Bitcoin price analysis, $14,000 or $18,000, what next for BTC price? For the whole cryptocurrency market, both in terms of pricing and general events, the previous week was largely favorable. While the FTX meltdown hangs over the industry, most market players continue to be concerned about the contagion that is spreading however, the outlook for the price of Bitcoin has changed from bullish to bearish as the king cryptocurrency consolidates in a tight range between $16,000 and $17,250 as a result of existing FUD BTC price heading to this level veteran trader and analyst Peter Brandt predicted that the price of Bitcoin will fall to $14,000. CTO of Digital Wealth Danielle Bernardi says that the price of Bitcoin will fall to $14,500. Although, the analysis by Bernardi is supported by a mathematical examination of computer models built using previous Bitcoin price information Bitcoin is extremely repetitive in the cycle, based on the halving that happens more or less every four years, and which cuts rewards for miners. So basically we analyze a lot of the quant data related to this and discovered a huge pattern in these movements according to another expert Michael Van de Poppy, the price of Bitcoin will reach $10,000. However, if it rises above the $16,800 to $17,000 area, the price of Bitcoin might skyrocket to $18,400.
He said that the range for support is $16,250 to $16,450 fundamental sentiment is still bullish, while the crypto industry is experiencing a strong bearish sentiment. Macro specialist and former Goldman Sachs executive Raul Pal says its fundamentals are still solid. In a recent interview with Impact Theory co-founder and host Tom Bailiu, Pal said that investor negativity is at its highest level ever, but also said that this whole thing is a psychological and long-term game ahead of Bitcoin's $1.14 billion options expiry on November 25. Here's what you should know Leverage bulls seem to be unprepared for Bitcoin's $1.14 billion monthly options expiring on November 25. The month-end options expiration for Bitcoin is scheduled tomorrow at 8 a.m. UTC and $1.14 billion worth of Bitcoin will expire. Data from Coinglass showed that traders were still split, with the difference between bullish and bearish bets being relatively small when Bitcoin tested the $15,500 support on November 20, it experienced a loss of more than 7%. Despite how minor the correction may appear, it resulted in $230 million worth of future liquidations. Since November 11, Bitcoin has not recorded a daily close of over $17,000. This could, however, benefit the bears despite the 6% rally from the $15,500 bottom important levels, scenarios, and bets the psychological levels of $16,000. $17,000, and $18,000 appear to be the most attractive to traders at precisely 16 k put OI was at 3.3k BTC, favoring bulls, while Koi was at 1.06k BTC while most bullish bets are focused on upward targets, most bearish bets are placed at lower strike.